Hello, and welcome to Old Toy, New Joy, the show where I share with you my previously enjoyed toys I've purchased from online sources, thrift stores, and collector's shows that once belonged to someone else. I mentioned in my last episode that I was planning on going to a collector's show, and I did. This morning, I just got back, and I'm going to share with you my small haul. We got an action figure, we've got some Hot Wheels, some sports cards, and some non-training uh, non-sports training cards. So let's get to it. First off, we'll take a look at these Hot Wheels. They're not in great condition. They were a dollar a piece. Rattling around in a bin with a bunch of other cars. We have uh, I believe this is a 1977 or 78 Flying Colors 57 Chevy. Uh, this 57 Chevy is from around 1980. Plastic base. Little base. Here's a Flying Colors Teetotaler from around 1977. I, I didn't have any of these. And here's the red version which came out uh, around 1980. Here's a Corvette Stingray. I had the orange one. Uh, this one is from the late 70s. I didn't actually I didn't even know there was a yellow one. So you learn something new every day. And then this is a Byway Man from 1980. And I had this when I was a kid, and I don't know what happened to it, so I was kind of happy to see it. So I've got it again. Here we have a Series 4 LJN wrestling figure. This is Mr. Fuji. Uh, he's in rough shape. He only cost me um, five bucks. I've got to clean him up. And I might need to do a repaint on the black just to make him look more presentable. But he was one that I didn't have, and you can't go wrong for five dollars when it comes to LJN wrestling figures. First, we'll take a look at the baseball cards. Not too many baseball cards this time around. We've got uh, a 1986 Topps Joe Carter. Here we have a 1965 Topps Felix Mantilla. There's a 1974 All-Star Rod Carew and Joe Morgan. 1971 Topps Paul Blair, which I, I didn't have any 71 Topps in my collection, so that's kind of good. Similarly, uh, with this 1968 Topps Mac Jones, I didn't have a 68 Topps either. Let me show you this cool book I picked up at a thrift store just last week. I didn't mention it in my last episode by accident. Official Baseball Cards Price Guide. This is not the first large coffee table price guide book I bought that was printed around 1990. Uh, sports cards were huge around that time. There was a big boom and there was a big demand in learning more about them, so a lot of publishers put together books like this. It's a little dated, of course, because, well, it's 30 years old, but it comes in handy. I wasn't sure about the Rod Carew uh, card what year it came in. I kind of had to look through this book a little bit, and I found it. Number 333, there we go. Rod Carew, Joe Morgan. You can see a mint condition. They thought this card was worth a couple bucks. Uh, I wouldn't say it's mint, but I would say it's very good, and it cost me a dollar. Next we have some groovy basketball cards. I don't have a lot of basketball cards, but I love the 1970, uh, 172 and 72, 73 sets. So I already had a sheet of these that I had purchased at a collector show a couple years ago for a dollar each. And then I decided to pick these up today. Um, on eBay, these cards are a dollar or $2 or even $3 each, but then you gotta pay shipping. So when I can see them in a bin for a dollar a piece, at a collector's show, I try to take advantage. So let's take a look and see what we have. So we've got Larry Jones. Can't really zero, but there we go. 
So that th these are uh, 71, 72 for the 70, 71 season. So there's a couple of these. There's him and Wes Unseld. And then a whole whack of these 72, 73s for the 71, 72 season. Uh, Tom Sanders, Flynn Robinson. I'll show you what the back looks like. George Carter, Jim McMillan, John Baum, John Trezant, Abdul Rahman, Charlie Davis, Dean Minger. These guys are so tall, I'm going to have to crouch down for the picture. It's kind of funny. Fred Carter. I love the pink in the background. Randy Smith. Jimmy Walker. Willie Norwood, Butch Beard, and Bobby Smith. And uh, I love the graphics. I love the background. I love the uh, funny poses. Really cool. Also from that bin, I had to move very quickly. There's about three other guys that wanted to put their hands in that dollar bin. So uh, just to be courteous, I moved as quickly as I could um, without duplicating anything. We've got uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Artis Gilmore. So these are like late 70s, mid 70s. Uh, Dr. J there, which is really cool. I didn't have anything with Dr. J on it before. And 80s Dominique Wilkins. Another Dominique. And yeah, Magic Johnson. Why not? And then I picked up some Topps Singles uh, Star Wars cards here. These are from the first movie. Most of them um, have this back puzzle piece. So it's not really worth looking at the back. I talked about Star Wars wax packs in an episode a while back, but I didn't have much to show you outside the pack. Now I can kind of show you what the cards look like. These are beat up. scenes from the movie. I think they used this image on the tin lunchbox, which everybody wanted in the late 70s and is really expensive to purchase today. That's before they realized they were brother and sister. And then I, like, I really like this one, this C-3PO. And I bought this book a couple years ago from a bookstore, and it's all about the Topps cards. And lo and behold, there's our C-3PO right there. It talks about the history of the cards, how they put them together, uh, some backstories to some of the scenes and information that was used. Was very interesting. They put a book out for each of the um, first three movies that were put out that had Topps cards made for them. And finally, I picked up a couple of these original Batman, the series tops cards. There's a whole set of them out there, and some of them are kind of rare. These are not. Uh, these are from 1966. I had a couple of these already, but I like them. I think they make a picture when you put them together on the back there. And then also from the 60s, 1967, uh, Planet of the Apes. I like that one. It's when they're hunting for the humans. It reminds me of a hilarious Simpsons episode when the parents of Springfield are rounding up their children to go to church. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Thank you for letting me share my toy show haul. Until next time, this is your Toy Whisperer saying goodbye from Old Toy, New Joy.